Welcome back, everyone. Well, have you heard about pet flipping? It's not a cool trick that your dog does. Instead, it's when a criminal picks up a dog or a cat either by stealing the animal or claiming to be the owner of a missing pet, and then they quickly sell that animal for profit. And often the purchase price is disguised as a rehoming fee. So Better Business Bureau's Dale Dixon joins us this morning to talk about this this scam. Good right, morning. Dale. Good Absolutely. morning. Yeah, thanks for being here. So specifically, when they're targeting pets here, what are what are they stealing? They're looking for purebred dogs and cats. Mm. And we've seen everything from trolling neighborhoods and looking for a stray dog to actually going into backyards, front uh, porches, you know, mm. if the dog or cat's sitting on the front porch, taking the dog that way. The other thing they look for would be uh, found pet ads. So if you were to find a pet in your neighborhood, yep. you kindly took that pet in, posted a sign, got it on Craigslist, hey, I found a pet in this area. If it's yours, let me know. Uh, and they'll, the pet nappers who are flipping the pets will okay. respond to those ads saying, hey, that's my pet. Which is, and this is really tragic, especially for animal lovers and thinking Absolutely. of people coming in your backyard to take your animal. It's it's really too bad. There's a lot yes. of opportunity, unfortunately, aren't there? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Especially when you think about the whole idea of responding to a, fet, a found pet ad. Yes. So we're encouraging folks on this front to be really careful. If you are the one that found the pet and you're trying to do the nice thing by reconnecting that pet with its rightful mm -hmm. owner, uh, if somebody calls you and says, "Oh, that's my pet." Well, can I see a picture of you and the pet sure. together? Can you, do you have some kind of a pro of proof that this pet really belongs to you? And then watch when the person shows up how the pet responds to the person. Interesting. That's great advice because yeah. I think a lot of folks don't want to doubt that someone would do this Absolutely. or would doubt who would, their, their who honesty. Who would think they would do that? Okay. So what can you do? There's things you can do to protect your pet before any of this even happens. Absolutely. Right? Keep a close eye on them. Uh, number one, microchip so okay. that you've got an, uh, and put an, uh, a good visible ID tag mm -hmm. on that pet so that it's, it's very clearly mark that the pet is yours. Be sure that anytime there's a transaction with a pet that you have paperwork to back hmm. it up. Really important okay. there. And then get that official bill of sale so that you have proof as being the owner and you know who you bought the pet from and everything else along the way. Okay, because I can imagine once if, if an owner an old owner, new owner, discover that they both had this animal. Things can get a little tricky, I Absolutely. imagine, once the middleman is gone, right? It would. It okay. would get very tricky. That's why you want this good paper yes. trail okay. to back you up. All right. Great information. Something I hadn't thought about before. So BBB.org, I'm sure, has more on this yes. if people need it. All right. Absolutely. Thanks Thank so you. much, Dale. Thanks for being here this morning.